Hello and welcome again. You're watching the breaking news show on CNN News 18, and I'm Sakshi Singh Litori. Over the next 30 minutes, we'll be bringing you all the top headlines from the nation and across the globe. At the top of this segment, we've got a breaking development now coming in from the national capital. Remember earlier we told you that Delhi Congress's chief Arvinder Singh Lovely has resigned from his post. It came as a big shock for the Congress party. Right now, according to the sources, CNN News 18 is learning that Lovely pitched for the alliance. He protested for giving ticket to Udit Raj. So that's the word that we are receiving from our sources in the Congress party. They've told CNN News 18 that Lovely pitched for the alliance. He protested for giving ticket to Congress as Udit Raj. We have our senior editor Pallavi Ghosh joining us on the broadcast over this story. Pallavi, so uh, the basic problem was the alliance between Amadmi Party and the Congress for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Please uh, help us understand that uh, breaking information that you have got for us. No, Sakshi, Ar Arvinder Singh, lovely, is the state Congress president. And in fact, there was a lot of uh, disagreement for an alliance with the Amadi party, like Ajay Makan being one of them. But lovely had pushed for this alliance with AAP, saying that this could work on the ground. If you remember the night when Arvind Kejriwal was arrested, mm -hmm. lovely was the first one to reach his res residence to make the point that complete support for AAP. The problem is really has been with ticket distribution. There are three seats which have gone to a Congress's kitty, JP Agarwal, from Chandni Chowk, northwest is Udit Raj, northeast is Kanaya Kumar. We saw when Udit Raj, for example, was taking charge and when he was doing a press conference, there were huge protests outside his residence. If you look at Arvinder Singh, lovely's resignation letter, he consistently makes a reference to Udit Raj. So there mm. has been a sense of discomfort and unhappiness with the candidature of Kanaya Kumar as well as Udit Raj on the grounds that they are rank outsiders. Why have you given them tickets when there are many within the Congress party who have been a part of Delhi Congress who should have been given the ticket in the first place? Right, Pallavi, please stay with us. We have seen in News 18's Yash Goel joining us on the broadcast as well. Yash, a very good morning to you. What are the recent developments that you have received on this story from the ground? See, right now, Sakshi, I am at uh, um, uh, Lovely's residence and in fact, uh, Subhash Chopra, uh, who is the former... Uh, uh, who, who, who has actually reached to meet uh, him at his residence. In fact, the meeting is going on for the last 15 to 20 minutes. Now, what we are expecting is that uh, other leaders could also reach at this very place to uh, pay him a visit. But as of now, uh, this is a very crucial meet which is underway at uh, Lovely's residence here in the national capital uh, because this has actually come as a big blow to the Congress just amidst the election. In fact, the elections are going on. In fact, uh, uh, like how Pallavi was also mentioning about uh, what happened during that very press conference which was addressed by Udit Raj. There was a, a major protest outside uh, by the Delhi Congress workers, in fact, against Udit Raj and also against Kanahiya Kumar. In fact, in this letter also, starting from the very first point, he went on to say that uh, how there were differences um, with the AICC Delhi, uh, uh, AICC Delhi in charge, Deepak Bavaria. In fact, uh, there was certain appointment uh, for which he was not given a go-ahead. In fact, he was blatantly asked not to make those appointments. Apart from that, the letter states all those reasons very clearly that how there were differences um, with the alliance um, of the, with the Aam Aadmi Party and how um, uh, he was not uh, actually uh, happy with the appointment and uh, uh, for giving tickets to Kanahiya Kumar and Udit Raj. In fact, uh, that is the uh, that is, seems to be the major reason why this entire thing is panning out. But uh, this resignation is a, a very crucial one because this is coming uh, when that Delhi is yet to vote. In fact, that is why uh, this will actually turn out into a big political slugfest because uh, here um, the internal dynamics of the party are also out in open where Amrinder Singh Lovely also talks about how the AICC Delhi um, uh, in charge Deepak Bavaria was also um, something that the equation was not right with him and in fact that is why he has resigned from his post of the President of the Delhi Congress. Definitely. Yash, please stay with us. Pallavi, coming back to you, looks like all is not well within Delhi Congress because this development has come days after Rajkumar Chauhan also resigned from the party. 
Yes. So it just goes on to show that the Delhi Congress unit, in any case, you know, Sakshi has not been uh, in a very strong position. They don't have a single MLA. They don't have a single MP as well. And the AAP has eaten into a space of the Congress party. Now, this resignation, that to the state Congress chief. And we'll have to wait to watch the next move, whether he's going to be placated and can takes back his resignation or is he going to join any other political party? Will he go back to the BJP? These are the important, uh, you know, uh, are the important points which has to be uh, watched out for. But the massive infighting of the ticket distribution only ends up demoralizing the cadres. Actually, they will not mm. work together. It's any case a very tough election with all the seven seats being won by the BJP. How do you enthuse the cadre when people are fighting among themselves? Definitely, Pallavi. Please stay with us. Let's listen in to the reactions that we have received within the same story, and we shall come back to you. कोई आदमी तो पीएम का कैंडिडेट है वो वो अखिलेश यादव हो वो अरविंद केजरीवाल हो वो स्टालिन हो वो फारूक अब्दुल्ला हो वो तेजस्वी यादव हो ममता बनर्जी हो तो इसलिए हर साल एक पीएम की टर्न आएगी अगर अगर इनकी गलती से सरकार बन गई तो हर साल एक नया पीएम होगा और हर साल वह नई एक पॉलिसी तय करेगा अपने हिसाब से so, Pallavi, as you mentioned that this is going to be extremely confusing for the cadre. Looking at the consensus which was made over the seat sharing, it came after a lot of tussle between the Ahmadmi Party and the Congress when it comes to Punjab and Chandigarh and in fact the Delhi also. But if we were to look at the situation from afar, how exactly Arvind's, uh, Arvinda's resignation going to be affecting uh, the grand old party specifically in the national capital? I mean, he's a state Congress president, so it's as damaging as it can get. He is also a person who had quit the BJP to come back to the Congress party. And there were many in the Congress party at that point of time who also felt that this is so unfair that he's now been given a designation, despite the fact that he has been a turncoat. Uh, the fact is that many within the Congress party, like an Ajay were very uncomfortable with the idea of uh, you know him be, uh, going into an alliance between AAP and the Congress party. But you know, uh, Lovely clearly had his way. And now Lovely today, uh, instead of being like a team leader, that's what his critics are pointing out, is actually ending up supporting uh, uh, you know a, a, a situation which which seems to many to be the voice of the BJP. So not very, very happy time. Certainly, I would say uh, a sound and at a time when the Congress faces a huge challenge, even in Delhi politics, this is a blow which perhaps is going to be difficult for them to kind of counter.